It's team time. It's team time. It's team time. Hey, hey, hey. It's team time. It's team time. It's team time. Hey, hey, hey. I think this is going to be my favorite lesson. Mine too, Brainstorm. I can't wait to learn about. Brainstorm, Enlighten, you're back. I've missed you guys. Miss, Miss Wilson. Wilson. We missed, missed you. you. Oh, well, let's get started. Are you ready for today's lesson? Yeah! Hey, what's that sound? What sound? Listen closely. Do you hear what I hear? Oh, now I hear it. Yeah, I hear some good music, like the drums. Boom, boom, chip. That's right, guys. Steam Scholars, join us for this unit as we learn all about sound and music. Do you hear what I hear? Uh, no. Miss Wilson, how do we hear? Great question, Brainstorm. Let's explore. Would you like to help me enlighten? You bet! Great. I'll start. Sound. Sound is energy made by vibrations that can be heard. Vibrations are the rapid, fast, back and forth motion of the particles in the air. Did you know that in order for sound to be heard, movement has to be made? Hmm. Do you mean movement like when I clap my fins? I use my voice to talk? That's exactly right, Brainstorm. When we make movement, the sound travels to your ear by sound waves. Sound waves are vibrating energy that bumps into other particles that continue to vibrate and move until the sound travels to your ear. Steam scholars, what types of movement can you make that produces sound? Is it loud or soft? Discuss with your class now. Thinking, Steam Scholars. Brainstorm, Enlighten. Did you guys come up with any other ideas? Oh, yes. We thought of music. Music is the art of sound. Yep, so we decided to make our own music using our hands and mouths. I played the flute. Do -do 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 -do. And I played the loud trumpet. Do -do -do -do. You guys are awesome. And what a perfect way to continue our lesson about sound. I noticed you both use words like loud and soft and named some musical instruments. So let's explore that. Oh, Miss Wilson, I know the word that describes the highness and the lowness of sound. It's called pitch. For example, I have a high-pitched voice and Brainstorm has a low-pitched voice. That's right. This goes for music as well. Not only can the sound of music have a high, or low pitch, but so can different musical instruments. Musical instruments are objects that can be used to produce music. To make music, musical instruments are played at a certain tempo. Tempo is the rate of speed. Miss Wilson, how many different types of musical instruments are there? Fantastic question. Well, Brainstorm, there are a lot of different types of musical instruments. Therefore, they are broken down to five main instrument families. The string family, woodwind family, brass family, keyboard family, and percussion family. Steam scholars, do you think you can figure out which family a violin, drum, flute, trumpet, and piano belong to. Take some time to discuss with your class now. Remarkable job. Let's see if you knew which instrument belonged to which instrument family. The string family consists of 
the violin, cello, bass, guitar, and any other stringed instruments that can be plucked, struck, strummed, or bowed. The woodwind family consists of the flute, clarinet, oboe, and saxophones. When air is blown across the top of the instrument, vibrations are made and the player can play different notes by covering different holes. The brass family consists of the trumpet, tuba, trombone, and French horn. Players buzz their lips on the mouthpiece and move the bows or slide to make different sounds. The keyboard family consists of the piano, organ, harpsichord, and electrical keyboard. On a piano, sound is produced by small hammers striking the keys as the player plays. The percussion family consists of drums, tambourines, maracas, and more. These instruments are played by striking, shaking, and scraping the instrument. Way to go, everybody. I think the STEAM scholars are ready for their challenge project. Before we go, here's a song to help you remember sound. Pitch the highness and lowness of sound. Tempo is the speed of the sound. The sound waves vibrate, bumping into particles that vibrate and move to your ear. Sound is the energy made by vibrations that we can and hear. That sound, that sound, that sound, that sound. Now, check out some tips and questions to help you prepare for your project. Take out your design thinking process card to help you. A, ask, what am I trying to create? B, brainstorm. How can I use my materials to make what I am trying to create? C, collect. What information have I learned that will help me create? D, develop. What is the first step I need to make to create? E, evaluate. What works? What doesn't work? And what can I do to make my design better? F, fine tune. Is my design where I want it to be? Are there any changes I need to make? Until next time, my STEAM scholars, be you. Be great and keep exploring. Bye-bye.